You ready? You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Barbara Bollard Breen and her team are here to create a virtual version of a historic hut that's over 100 years old in order to help protect it. Here we go. And she's about to step inside for the first time. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what I was expecting, but it's so beautifully preserved. It's unbelievable. And this is how they left it when they headed out to the pond. It's as if they're just waiting for everyone to come back. On October 24th, 1911, British explorer Robert Falcon Scott and 16 men left this hut on an expedition to the South Pole. They were the second group ever to make it there, but on their way back, they were caught in a blizzard that lasted nine days. On March 29th, Scott wrote in his journal, we shall stick it out to the end, but we are getting weaker, of course, and the end cannot be far. It seems a pity, but I do not think I can write more. Months later, the party was found frozen to death over a hundred miles from the safety of this shelter. It's stunning. It's preserved so well, I feel like we're the first people to discover it. God, everywhere you look, there's just something unbelievable. And the boots and the hats on the shelves. It's amazing. You can almost feel their presence here, can't you? You can. You can just imagine it with people in the bunks. sitting around the table, sharing a meal. Working in the kitchen. The dishes are there. Sugar, cocoa. Oh my God. The Illustrated London News. Saturday, February 29th, 1908. Wow. It costs sixpence. Isn't that something? The hut is 25 feet by 50 feet, and Barbara's team has just a few hours inside it to complete their mission. Time to get to work. <laughs> how about you go down the center? I'll come this way and see how we go. OK. We're making a virtual reality mosaic of the inside of this hut by having multiple cameras at multiple angles and multiple heights. When we process them on a computer later, we can get a 3D image of the hut. We take thousands of images, and then I stitch those images together to create 3D orthomosaics. We actually have to make every second count, because we've only got a limited amount of time here. It's a very remote location. We've got one shot at this, so it's a little bit nerve-wracking, but we want to do it right, because we can't come back again. 